happened here? <laughs> it's got, it's got all and awkward and weird. <laughs> 70s and 80s. We're seeing 80 degrees in San Antonio, 79 in Windcrest, 78 in Selma. Meanwhile, 77 over toward Helota. So temperature is warm once again, upper 70s to low 80s. It's hot out west, Del Rio at 81. Eagle Pass, or I should say Del Rio at 86. Eagle Pass and Carrizo Springs, 81. Catula, 82. Up in the hill country, 73 sounds nice in Bernie, 75 in Rock Springs. Heat advisory for the counties highlighted here. This is just advising you that it's going to be a very hot day, hot and humid. Heat index values in these areas between 106 degrees to as high as 112 degrees. Here in San Antonio, forecasting heat index values up to 108 degrees. Some extra steps to keep cool. Check on those without AC, especially your elderly neighbors. Look before you lock when traveling with small kids and or pets. If you have to be outside, especially for work, remember to take frequent breaks stay hydrated, lather on the sunscreen. Don't forget your pets. Make sure that you don't walk them for too long during peak heat hours. Check their water bowls. Make sure that they are full and that they uh, stay in the shade. Clouds and radar picture. Not a whole lot to see here. We are seeing some cloudiness, but no worries, uh, no fog, and unfortunately no rain. The rain is farther north. There is a complex of storms that's producing some isolated severe weather and flash flooding there in Oklahoma. That's moving very slowly. That could clip Dallas. Uh, the bulk of that, though, hitting Oklahoma. Up in portions of the Intermountain West, now in the High Plains, seeing an area of rain that's tracking to the east. Severe flooding has been ongoing in the northeast the last several days. The last bit of rain is falling over northern New England, drier for them uh, later today. And for Florida, not as wet this morning as yesterday morning, a little bit of rain there in North Florida. For us, tracking the heat dome, here is this area of high pressure. This is still trapping that high heat right over the state. That's why temperatures are at 100 degrees or greater, and it's going to get scorching hot across the desert southwest as well. Hot already, but I think the heat intensifies there later this week into the weekend. As we go through the day, any storms will stay to the north, perhaps to the west as well. Here, just lots of sunshine. Tomorrow morning, wow, Thursday morning, including Friday morning, we'll have some clouds and then sunshine for the rest of the day. Severe storm outlook in the yellow there from Omaha back towards Rapid City. Could see some scattered severe thunderstorms, especially this afternoon. That's where storms could produce large hail and high winds. Here's your forecast for this Tuesday morning, looking partly cloudy until mid-morning and then mostly sunny. By 10 o'clock, I think we'll be in the upper 80s. At noon, low 90s. Then it continues to heat up, possibly up to 100 or 101 as early as 3 o'clock this afternoon. We'll top out at 103 degrees. We'll get to that closer to 4 or 5 p.m. Heat index up to 108. In the eastern zone, could see heat index temperatures up to 110. Meanwhile, the hill country heat index up to 104. Western zone heat index values over 110. If you're planning a trip to the coast this weekend, let's check out the forecast in South Padre. Sunny and dry, 86. Water temperature sounds fantastic there at 70. 7 degrees up the road in Port Aransas. It's also looking like a dry weekend with highs there closer to 90 degrees and the water temperature at 84 degrees. Seven day forecast 103 tomorrow, 104 Thursday, 103 Friday, Saturday, perhaps even into Sunday. Normal is 94. We're going to be well above that. Monday, 104 degrees. In the western zone, look for highs over 105 each day, staying dry and sunny. Hill country between 99 and 101. In the eastern zone, you too, not going to see uh, much changing here. 100 degrees or greater, some clouds in the morning, sunshine in the afternoon hours. That's a look at your forecast. This is available online at news4sa.com.